Low All right, so um, when you're doing the gram stain, you got to make sure that this is nice and thin. So sometimes if you use this end of the Q-tip, so the cotton end, it'll be too thick. So sometimes it's actually easier to use this end of the Q-tip. So um, ew, there's poop all over this bag. Ooh, yummy. So you can kind of roll the Q-tip end, the wood in in this and then you're gonna smear it very lightly on the slide. So you guys see how thin that is? So you can see through it. If it's thick, any of these thick areas, you won't be able to read. So if it looks thick, like this little thick area right here that there's up here in this corner, you won't be able to read that and it's not gonna stain correctly. So. Um, then I'm gonna flame my slide. And just enough to kind of dry it, that's all I want. And then I can set my slide down over here. Now what I'm using this Dixie cup for is just a flat surface, that's all it is. It's just a flat surface. So that way I have something that I, my stain will stay on top of my slide on. Um, if you have an uneven surface, your uh, stain will roll off of here and it won't stain your sample correctly. So you want to make sure it's even surface. So then guess which one of these stains I'm going to start with. Number one. Number one. Fantastic. All right. So number one is called Crystal Violet. It tells you right on there. Crystal Violet. So that's our number one stain. And you are going to put this on your slide and you're going to allow it to remain on there for one minute. Now, some of these stains don't come with these nice little bottle tops and this you can just... Drop right on there. Oh, you cover the whole slide. Yep, you cover the whole slide. There's so more. So just a couple of drops. And you can kind of roll it a little bit to make sure it covers your whole slide. So weird. We're going to let it sit for one minute. So we're about quarter till at the seconds. So we'll sit for one minute. And then um, what this is doing. This is staining my bacteria and my, any, any materials that are in here, this crystal violet purple color. So this one is staining it like your blue, your purple, your purple blue. So certain bacteria will keep this stain and hang on to it and certain one, other ones are gonna let it go. Um, and so once it's been on there for one minute, then we have to rinse it off with distilled or tap water. Now when you're rinsing your slide off, do I wanna turn my water on like this? No, we want a nice just, gentle stream and we're going to rinse that slide off so you pause that okay so i'm going to rinse this under the water and i'm going to using the clothespin because i don't want it all over my hands it's so pretty it is pretty huh it does look like purple shampoo and then i can rinse this down the sink oh it's fine i don't care <laughs> All right, so do you guys see how that looks? That purple. We don't need to dry it or anything, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And now I'm gonna do what number? Number two. Two, two right? So number two is iodine. Okay, iodine. Is it just actual, like, the same iodine? It's similar iodine to that, but it's stronger. So it's a stronger tincture. So same thing, I'm gonna put this on the slide, cover the whole thing, and I'm gonna again let it sit for one minute. So again, I'm gonna use my clothespin. I'm going to gently rinse. And when I'm rinsing, I wanna rinse until the water runs pretty much clear because otherwise I'm not rinsing enough of it off, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to number three, uh, number three. Number three is actually a decolorizer. It's not a stain at all. So what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna take the stain off of here. And so um, I'm gonna kind of shake this off and then I'm just going to hold this over the sink and I'm gonna drop this. Do you guys see how that decolorizer is taking some of that stain off? So nice and gentle. Because some of those bacteria will still hold on to that stain. So do you see how there's still some purple color on there? 
So there's still some purple color on there. Certain ones of these bacteria, yep, it's taking all the extra stain off. And you want to do it just until it about, about runs clear. So it looks pretty good. That's pretty clear looking. So then we're going to rinse this off one more time with tap water. Because if I don't rinse that uh, decolorizer off well, the next stain won't stick. So. All right, then we're going to put it back on my flat surface. And you can see, if you look close, there's still purple on there. If you look close, there's still purple and blue stain on there. And then we're going to do number four, right? Okay, now this one only needs to be on for 30 seconds, not a minute. So same thing, though. I'm going to cover it. This is saffron, which is red. So we're right at the 12, so we'll... Hold it till the six. Her puppy, she always hears howling. We're gonna rinse this off. It's like blood. It is nothing like blood. Uh, <laughs> no, my blood. It does look like Kool Aid. Mmm, Kool Aid. If I turn that stream up on the back of the slide, to kind of rinse off the, the um, I think it's so weird that clothes come off. Well, if you put too um, hard of a stream of water, it will come off. No, like the stain stuff. I'm like if you put like water. So now, on, if you look at it, you can see that there's purple and red on there both on this slide. And now I will look at this on the microscope under the 100 power, so the oil power, but I'm gonna start at the lowest power, work my way up, make sure I don't drag that blue lens or that 40X power through the oil, because you'll ruin the lens. So you'll go up to 40, focus it in, and then go back around to the red, put your oil on, and then go to the 100X power. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, things you're gonna be looking for today, you can stop recording.